you know for me you are something you are somebody uh, very special uh, because uh, because your localization because you are from united states and all things which you which you said in your channel it is uh, it is proof for proof that internationalism exists at the uh, so could you say something uh, summarize your discussion about the dprk about the north korea because you said there are many in interesting things oh with dr hudson yes um, from britain yeah uh, i was just talking with dr hudson about juche dprk the history about the dprk um the war that the north and the south had how, how they arose and how they originally started as a national liberation struggle as well as a struggle for socialism um and independence and how the south was propped up by the united states after world war ii and more or less just existed as a neo-colony and a fortress against communism during the cold war um and we talked about all the hardship that north korea has gone through and uh, how in spite of all of the hardship that they've been through north korea still is able to provide a respectable way of, way of life for its people and uh, is also able to maintain a strong military at the same time and i like the dprk um and I do have support for it for the simple reason that it is, for all intents and purposes, the last, what I consider, anyways, I consider North Korea to be the last socialist country on Earth. Cuba is in the process of liberalizing. Vietnam is like a social democracy. China is a social democracy. Whether or not they'll be socialist in the future is a different conversation, but at the moment there is only one truly socialist country and it is the dprk okay and tell me in in one of your video i i see the i saw the link to the party communist party of uh, are you member of this party yeah i'm part of the pcusa which is an offshoot of the cpusa the party of communist usa it's an offshoot of the Communist Party USA. Right now, it's more of a reading club or an educational project. We don't do a lot of activism or organization out in the real world, but it's simply because we don't have the numbers to do so. But we're getting there. We're growing the party, and we're starting to gain more traction. Um, it's I've, I've learned a lot of things. It's been a great educational tool for me, and I link it to my channel because i'm part of the party and i want more people to join you know so i advertise the pc usa in some of my videos um but it's an offshoot of the cp usa in the sense that the, that the founding members of it were part of the central committee of the communist party usa and they tried to reform it because it was a democratic partisan party it was a Democrat, it was a pro democratic establishment party, and they wanted to reform it so it wasn't like that anymore, so that it was actually like a revolutionary org again, like it was a century ago. And what ended up happening is they got kicked out. They got kicked out, so they went off to form their own party, and that's where you get the Party of Communists USA.